For a typical IUI, we bring patients in for baseline ultrasound to verify that the ovaries are resting, and then we start them on medications, typically letrozole or clomid. Uh, an IUI cycle takes place over a typical menstrual cycle, roughly one month. It is broken down into roughly two weeks of meds monitoring and an insemination procedure, followed by two weeks of waiting to test for pregnancy. You'll typically do a baseline ultrasound around cycle days three through five to verify that your ovaries are resting. Then you'll be given oral medications for about five days to help recruit growth of eggs in what we call follicles. These are fluid-filled spaces within your ovaries, each containing an egg. You'll likely return around cycle day 10 through 13 for a follicular ultrasound to track recruitment and growth of these follicles. Once they reach an appropriate size, we initiate the ovulation process by giving you an injection we call the trigger shot. An intrauterine insemination, or IUI, is typically done 24 to 36 hours after the trigger shot to ensure that modal sperm are present in the uterus near the time of ovulation. We're basically optimizing the number of good sperm in the right place at the right time by controlling key events of the cycle. So the average patient will need maybe two to three ultrasounds uh, to monitor throughout the process for an IUI cycle. After the insemination, the patient will wait 14 days before we do a pregnancy test to verify that it was successful.